All right, let's see what you say about this one. I'm not going to say the name. Um, she said, I've been strength training for five plus years. No matter how lean I get, I always have love, love handles. Should I get surgery? I'm sad that she's asking this question. Mm -hmm. No, you shouldn't get surgery. And I, I could contextualize this if I knew more about this person and if we were having a face-to-face -face conversation. Um, but it it's we are so much more as humans than the way that we look in the mirror and having a mm -hmm. little – I wrote an article many, many years ago called The Hero's Abs Are Irrelevant where it basically was like – what makes us great isn't the tenths place in our body fat percentage. It's not our lower ab fat. It's not a four pack versus a six pack. It's not like these little aesthetic minute differences that only you notice that nobody else notices about you. That's not what makes you a person, what makes you amazing. It's all the other stuff. And so I don't know exactly how, but helping her No, I wouldn't recommend the surgery. And finding ways to and and guess what i'm not putting this on her like we need to have less of a uh, like like a i don't know vanity around probably i would call it like vanity and like even like over sexualization in in content and on the internet of like there's there's too much attention on this stuff that doesn't matter it's are you healthy how are you performing how do you feel physically like those are the things that really matter not you know if you feel like you have a little bit of extra around your obliques yeah there's too much focus on how do you look and and too much of a of a scrutinization of every centimeter of your body like it's not quote unquote perfectly the way that you want it and it's sad that the first response is i've been doing this for five plus years and that just must mean I have to cut myself open and, and pay for a surgery to to take these things off that are just it's a part of me. It's not unhealthy. It's not it's not bad. It's not doing any any damage. Realistically, nobody probably even notices except for you. And uh it's so crazy. Like surgery is a big deal. Surgery is a big fucking deal. To go under the knife, to cut yourself open, like you're literally wounding yourself you have a literal wound and not like you know a paper cut like they are literally cutting you open to change to what to remove a little bit of love handle i mean that's it's crazy and, and again not against this individual for saying it it sucks that like that's where so many people are in terms of like, they think like, all right, well, let's just get surgery and they think that that's going to change their life it's going to change everything about them and the sad reality is like that's not going to change how you really feel about yourself. It's not because then once the surgery is over, you know what you're going to be, you're going to get the scars. Oh my God. Now the scars, like, I don't like how they look. And people are going to be like, oh my God, did you get surgery to remove your love handles? Then they're going to judge me for that. And da, 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 da. It's like, Good point. it's, there's the, there's always going to be, and even though you might not see the love handles anymore, or other people might not see them as much. Now you're going to be focusing on something else focusing on something else. And it's a never ending pursuit uh, that will never, it will, you'll never get to the end of it. There will never be a finish line where it's like, okay, I no longer have any insecurities, which is why I think it's so much more important to focus on what you can do as opposed to, you know, little things like that, where you store body fat here. And again, I'm not talking about a 350 pound person who needs to lose weight because they're a diabetic and all that. We're talking about someone who's already lean, already healthy, already fit. You've been lifting for five years and you've got a little bit of love handle. So do I. <laughs> Right, like so do I, and I've dieted myself down lean enough to where I didn't, and I hated it. It sucked. Mm -hmm. It wasn't fun, mm -hmm. and I was still able to find things that I didn't like. I was still able to find things about myself that, like, I, 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 I was insecure over. And so that's why it's like focus on on what you can do. Focus on the things that make you better, that make your family better, that make you a better member of society, that like uh, allow you to to impact yourself and more people. Whether it's you know your performance in the gym, how much you can lift, your chin ups, your push ups, your deadlift, or what you're doing with your job, or what a great mom or dad you're being, or, or kid you're being. Like, like focus on the things that you can do that actually make a positive impact not the you know how much 
what can I do to get a little bit more pec separation? Yeah. And this isn't some body positivity bullshit that we're feeding you. We're not, we're not mm -hmm. about that life. That's like, mm -mm. we're not telling you at 300 pounds that you're okay just the way you are and that you don't need to change. Correct. But you wanting to lose four pounds off of your love handles and it not happening. And so you wanting to get surgery, like that's, that's the other side of the pendulum. Yeah, this is, we're about body negativity. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> Clip that and cancel this man. I used to follow you, but I unfollow now. Sigh it. When Fitness. you said you were all for body negativity. <laughs> <laughs> oh.